Hey guys, Ishan with the Yu-Gi-Oh Club at UCI here, coming at you guys with another dual video series. If you guys want to see the deck used in this video, please leave some comments and some likes, uh, letting me know, expressing your desire, and I will gladly hit you up. Jump right in. We got a uh, Foolish Burial Goods into a Metal Force Fusion of Star Goblin. I'm like, oh no, not Sky Striker. My hand's decent, but this hand from the Striker player seems, well, we'll, we'll see how, oh, it's good. Never mind. It's very good. Okay, so he's already got three spells in grave. Gets multi roll, draws a card. You don't want to see them search multi roll. Goes roll, area zero. Another engage. Two engages. This is, um, well, not good. Goes eagle booster. Probably, he could probably search anything in his deck and still win this game. Um, and so he goes ray two as well. So he's got the ray. Uh, doing the good old area zero on ray trick. Chain the ray. Uh, get the Kagari. Mill three picks himself up a nice widow anchor. Uh, not looking good for me. Everything else goes back to the top. And uh, Kagari grabs another engage. So he's going to go the triple engage. All three of them with a draw card this turn. Goes engage. Uh, yeah, I'll be honest with you. I can't remember what he searched here. I was like, oh, okay. Shark cannon, sure. I mean, what can I do? Uh, yeah, he's got that one. Uh, Rural Kagari into Shizuku. And uh, he sets a bunch of cards, multi roll during the end phase. And now you guys are not going to believe how I, how I got out of this game. This one was amazing. Uh, I draw. Let's see what happens. So yeah, I really, I really played this game fantastic. I think, guys, I really played this duel fantastic. And let me show you guys how I got out of this one. First, I drew, and then I conceded. Yep. So that's how I got out of that game. Uh, well, moving on to game two. Not a good start for me, but uh, we we opt to go first this time. Uh, we got some good cards against Striker. Uh, Dimensional Fisher's like not bad, but you'd rather it be Macrocosmos. Anyway. We go Extravagance, uh, you know, of course, we're almost always going six with Extravagance. Uh, no hand traps, so we draw two. Grab ourselves with Desires. Uh, can't activate it, because we've already activated Extravagance, but, you know, it's okay. We'll activate Duality. Uh, we get three. Uh, I'm looking, and I, I feel like I, I, you know, there's some... I don't like taking Heavy Storm Duster when my opponent knows I have it, so I decided to take Judgment instead. Um, and then I activate my Dimensional Fissure set everything i leave one just in case my opponent bricks i want to be able to activate my desires yeah it's, you know it's a tough call it's a tough call um this guy doesn't brick though he doesn't break he doesn't know the meaning of brick he goes oh, found and engaged right off the top hey you might as well yeah multi-roll too if you readers looking for cards all right, so uh, he gets engaged, sends uh, after Murners, whatever, engages, vroom vroom, that's what we like to say, and uh, he goes and grabs himself a jamming waves, trying to bait out some back row here. Uh, he goes, he hits my strike, so I'm going to let that go. I'm not going to judgment that. Uh, he goes, another engage. Well, I have to judgment this because he's already got three spells. I'm not letting him plus two here. If he's got, you know, MST's, MST's his own uh, area zero for a nice little ray play from the deck ray is gonna go to the battle uh because you know you might as well get the free damage in right boom 15 to the face this is not looking so great for me uh but at least i have you know at least i have d fissure right so his ray is not gonna be reused oh just kidding here comes typhoon boom hits the d fissure uh ray is, activates her effect comes in for kagari um luckily i have an impermanence here or else the game would have been over um so i negate the kagari i take 15 uh, luckily, its effect is negated, so I don't take extra damage. He goes into Shizuku, uh, of course, and sets a card. Don't know what that card is, uh, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to see. End phase. What's he gonna grab? Grabs a multi roll. Okay, so we draw, uh, and let's see what happens here. Okay, heavy storm duster. Did I not shuffle my deck? It's possible I didn't shuffle my deck, uh, which would be my fault. But I don't remember to be honest. <laughs> uh, it's possible that I just drew it again because I had three set it in. Uh, I banish a 10 to draw two, and let's see what I draw here. Okay, we get one pot of desires, one pot of duality. Okay, not bad. I go duality, um, and I reveal Gizmek, Crackdown, and Maju, and I feel like I need to take the Maju to win here. My plan is to survive a turn and then Maju kill him. So I grab the Grand Maju here. I believe this was a tough play, actually, a tough decision, but I decided to go with the Grand Maju. Um, I actually don't think it was that hard of a decision because the way I win this game is by this. Now, I could summon him this turn. 
I see no reason to. What I actually do is I set it to try to force, to play around just him having another ray. Um, and then I know he's going to go into Hayate next turn, but I have the crackdown for the Hayate. So he goes right into it, doesn't waste any time. Hayate thinks he's got the game. Uh, and then I crack down it, so he doesn't have the game. Okay, main phase two. He, you know, checks his graveyard, thinks a little bit, um, and then he activates multi-roll, and then Widow anchors it back, uh, which is like, okay, sure, uh, yeah. Um, and then he links it off into another Shizuku, uh, and then he's going to try to go with the end phase multi-roll, but no Heavy Storm Duster is going to blow him out here. And I can already see the lethal. Uh, and so let's see, find out what he set last turn. And it was another Widow Anchor. Wow, so the Heavy Storm Duster came in clutch. Shizuku doesn't matter what he can get because he can't really set it because during the end phase. Um, and then... On my turn, I'm going to activate uh, Desires. Probably should have summoned the Luna first. I don't see why not summon the Luna first. Um, but, you know, whatever, right? I guess, whatever. Uh, draw two. Sure, draw more cards. Doesn't really matter. Uh, you, you can't really get two Grand Madra attacks in because they have Kaina. So you have to just kill them when they have the Shizuku out. Uh, luckily, I just had enough. I looked at the Banished. 26, that's 10,400 banished cards. I summoned Luna for absolutely no reason at all. Uh, just because. Probably shouldn't have summoned it because it shows what's in my deck. Uh, you do the math, I've got 10,400. He's got exactly 9 spells in Grave. That makes me at an effective do just exactly 8,000 damage. So, uh, Grand Machu pulling a victory out of the Jaws of Defeat. And my opponent looks at his graveyard, precisely 8,000, complains about my desires, top decks, you know, hey, I'm not, I'm not gonna, you know, no one's gonna, I don't, I didn't talk a single thing about the first game, but, uh, you know, it's doing, this is doing, but people like to talk, I understand, you know, hey, I understand. All right, game three comes around, not looking good, he's gonna opt to go first, um, I sided in evenlies as well, because, you know, I saw him, he just, he always opens so well, I'm like, what's, what's the best thing you can do against striker players that open well? Uh, even the match, I'm like, oh, multi-roll, Ray, okay. Like, this is not looking good for me. Um, and then he activates. Uh, this is where I know I'm in a good spot here. He, you know, he gets his cards. Demise, 4-3, uh, you know. And then, haha, I'm like, oh, Demise. This evenly is perfect against Carter Demise. Um, and so I'm like, okay, this is really good. I got a really good chance at winning this game. He goes Metal Flows Fusion. Shuffles it back. Draws a card. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, sets some cards. And then he has to set his hand, right? Because he can't keep it in his hand. So he's got to set it all. He can't go into Shizuku because he, you know, he demised. So I go uh, enter battle. Is that okay? Uh, and he just concedes right away. And so I got to say, that was a crazy game. Uh, had a lot of, oh, great game. Uh, shows the power of Grand Monster just winning out of nowhere. Really liked uh, that game and wanted to show this one to you guys. Um, so yeah, it didn't even, didn't let me play the evenly, but whatever, you know. Uh, game two, uh, moving on to the next one. I lose the dice roll again. Uh, against an uh, Wa Wang O one, and we'll see what he does. Go right into the duality. Uh, got the maxi sleeves, you know, a little little counterintuitive, but whatever. Ooh, Alter Geist. So he grabs what? Thank God, uh, multi fakers limited. By the way, thank the Lord. Okay, so he grabs the Mellow Seek, <clears throat> just normals it. Um, Inspector Border is actually very, very good against Alter Geist. They have a hard time dealing with just the monster you normal summon. So basically, if he doesn't have Warning or Judgment here. I'm in very good shape. So uh, I normal the border. <laughs> uh, no warning or judgment, please. Uh, yeah, I thought about duality or, or desiring first, but it just seemed pointless. I'd rather just do it after and have hand trap protection. There's no card I'm looking for. I don't run twin twisters in the main, so I'm not really looking for a twin twister. Uh, I go ahead into the desires, um, and then uh, you can't hand trap. Draw another border, kind of useless, but whatever. Uh, I will duality here as well, because why not? Um, Grand Maju, Crackdown, I, uh, Gizmic. I, I really tempted to take the Grand Maju here, but I find that it's better just to take the Crackdown because uh, the border is the key card in this matchup, uh, and I need to protect the border. So I set some cards. The Grand Maju will have to wait. Um, and then, yeah, so he goes, uh, draws a card. We'll see what happens. Main one. And looking around, what's he gonna do? Basically, he's got a really hard time to out this border. Draws another card, can't out it. So, uh, Inspector Border doing the stun part and Grand Maju stun. Very well, very well done, Mr. Border. Very well done. I draw my hand, uh, 
pretty decent, but he actually makes me go first. Did not expect that. So this Panger Tops is going to be out of commission for a bit. I set a bunch of cards, pass the turn, he draws, and, uh, uh, well, doesn't... Great, goes right into the uh, Extravagance. Great card, I run it too. <laughs> yeah, why not, right? It's a good card. Draws two, you know, eight free cards, right? Sets one, passes. I'm like, oh, that's a little weird. Okay, uh, I set the Judgment, uh, and then he totally gets me with the end phase uh and face heavy storm duster very well played um uh, i'm i'm, a, I'm a sort of a fan of of um dimensional fissure against ultra guys a lot of their monsters have value going into the graveyard so i i like it i draw my border which is really good i normal it uh i could have heavy storm duster as judgment before i normaled it but didn't think it was worth it i'd rather get some value out of it i don't know why he's sitting one card he's playing ultra geist. he must have a bunch of traps but he's at 4k so this is good for me uh, Marionette is going to set some stuff from the deck. Um, so I can't do anything about that. But he finally has a monster. I can at least summon my Panker Tops. Sets one. Battle phase. Attack for 1,600. Can't do anything about it. Uh, but I do have a decent follow-up. So I go, boom, end phase, twister. Uh, and then let's see what I draw here off the top. I got a good Panker Tops here. Um, and so, ooh, I draw Eater of Millions. Probably a really good draw. Best draw in my deck, probably, beside that, or Desires. Um, but mm, Eater of Millions, great. Um, only card I have to worry about here is Kunkuri. So basically, I know that Kunkuri is the only way to win. Um, and so I basically attack with Eater of Millions first. It might have been better to attack with uh, Panker Tops first. Uh, as long as you don't attack with Grand Maja, you're fine. Because you don't want your Grand Maja's attack to be negated by Kunkuri. I've got my Panker Tops already to pop the the marionette, or just in case it's the Kunkuri. He targets Grand Maju, but then here comes Panker Tops, runs it over, and then, of course, I can pop the Kunkuri, and then effect is not negated anymore. So Grand Maju can just come in and uh, finish off the duel. Again, very fun. Duel three. Uh, some good old rock, paper, scissors. Triple paper. I go with the rock. Uh, just, you know, I, I, I knew he was going to go with scissors. That's why I went rock. And we started off uh, ooh, a decent looking hand. Uh, definitely gonna start off with the extravagance here and see what we get. Uh, and this is why this card is so good because with a hand like this, this is what you really want. Uh, he's okay. Um, I draw my Gizmek, which is a beater in this matchup, but not my favorite card. I would have really liked to draw Luna there. Uh, that would have been really good with this, this hand, but you know, it's okay. And we're gonna just hold on to the Gizmek to surprise him here. Because, uh, you know, I want to give away as little information as possible. I'm like, man, another Altergeist? Really? Same Max C sleeves, too. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, um, here he goes. He extravagances for two, of course. It's a good card. Uh, dualities. I'm like, man, is this, is this Altergeist? I'm having flashbacks here. Uh, and then I see a Fossil Dino. So I'm like, okay, if he picks that Fossil Dino, I have to resolution uh, grab the grab a Gizmek. Um, Summon a Gizmek. Well, I, I'm going to do it anyway, just because he might have a Fossil Dino already. So I do it right away. Uh, Gizmek tends to be pretty good in these in these matchups. So I go right away. Even though my D-Fisher is face up, which kind of sucks. But um, it's still a hard threat. So he's got a set of monster. Probably was not expecting my Gizmek. So good news for me. Uh, I don't know what he said. Uh, Necro Valley. Uh, sort of irrelevant in this matchup. I can't summon my Gizmek from Grave. I, I don't believe, but um, I, I'm not sure. I don't really read Necro Valley because I, I know that I uh, just I was going to be banished anyway. So whatever. I top deck. Uh, not a bad card. Boom. Uh, I draw my Luna, which is really good here. It's really good in these grindy matchups. I can't summon border, so I normal Luna. Luna effect. Uh, grab a card here. As I go, you know, he reads it. Uh, a lot of people like to read Fairy Tale Luna because you know, they don't know what it does. I grab the Luna. Uh, Luna and Maju, two best friends, go in. Uh, Gizmek hits the Banisher of the Ring. I was like, oh, okay, he's, play he's playing a stun deck as well. Uh, already had 20 cards managed here, so the Grand Mod is already lethal. Uh, nice chip in with Luna, set, uh, and pass. Um, decides to end phase, hit the, uh, hit the Imperial Order set, which is fine with me, because I don't really think I, he runs that many spells either, so I'm okay with this. Uh, stun's a very grindy matchup. He, of course, plays the extravagance. He got off the duality, draws another two cards. You know, value's just there, boys. Value is just there. Uh, draws two. Okay, fine with that. Um, and what's he going to do? Right, we've got to think about what's he going to do. Okay, sets a card, uh, sets another card, passes the turn. Okay, I go Luna. Uh, uh, let's see. I guess I have another Luna left in my deck, so I activate the effect. Uh, he's good with it, so I grab another Luna. Uh, and then 
activate duality. Let's see what we grab off here. Grab a judgment, I believe, because that seems like the best card in the situation. In stun versus stun, you need, you need to land a threat, basically. And once you land the threat, you're going to win. Um, so I go battle, attack. Uh, he There can be only one's me, so I got to get rid of Luna. Then he flips Fossil Zion up, pops by Orochi. Um, but that's why I attacked with Orochi, because I saw he played Fossil Zion earlier. Boom. Hit him with uh, the good old Luna, 1850. He's already at 33, so I'm got, I got a beater. Uh, I've, I can basically out any beater he has. He almost Thunder King, but it can't get over Luna, because I'm just going to bounce them both back to hand. So I bounce both back to hand. Um, and this is a good time to summon a border now. A 2,000 is bigger than the Thunder King. So I want that to dominate the board. And <laughs> as much as it's, you know, uh, pun intended. And so, boom, 2,000 in. And uh, pass the turn. So it's a really slow game here. Uh, he goes Thunder King. Uh, sure. I'm kind of confused why. This probably should have set off the light bells in my head. I, I draw. I normal Luna. Uh, and then he gets me right here with the Super Poly. I'm like, damn, that was pretty good. He discards another Super Poly. Has a Mer Dragon left in his extra deck, uh, so well played by him. I should have the, the warning bells should have went off in my head, but uh, they didn't. So okay, um, I'm thinking here, and I decide I want to you know grab. I want to set this crackdown, so I do um, because I want to retake control of the board next turn, um, and so I, I didn't have to do this, but I didn't want to you know uh, I didn't want to take so much damage here. Uh, and so he goes in, I activate Crackdown, uh, take his Thunder King, because the Murder Dragon's easy to bounce. Um, he doesn't do anything, so I'm like, okay, sure. Uh, I go, I draw an Eater of Millions, which is good, because it also beats the board. Um, and so that's, uh, that's what we're trying to do here. Uh, Pat, it doesn't, you know, doesn't banish Luna. I've only got a few cards left in my Etrex, so I got a Banish from Field as well. Uh, but it's okay, because I have a bunch of dead cards I don't really care about. Here comes the Eater. Um, and now I've got enough for basically lethal here, and uh, so my opponent basically has to stop this summon, and so what does he do? Uh, it's got 2,500 attack. Actually, it's got more because that's all, it counts all banished cards, and he, he banished quite a bit from his extravagance, and so it's at 37. Um, so he realizes, well, I gotta do something about it. Flips the judgment, um, but of course, that's why I grabbed the judgment earlier in the game with my duality, and that'll cause him to scoop it up. Okay, so we're up 1-0. Uh, basically, side deck, you just want to bring in, like, going second cards, Panker Tops, evenly matched, all that stuff. That's what I bring in. Oh, there's evenly again. There's Panker Tops, Inspector Border, and um, I didn't... So I didn't summon the Gizmex standby phase because I wanted to evenly matched him. So just good to know, if I didn't have evenly matched, I would have summoned it standby phase, and I would have told him, hey, you got to give me a chance in the standby phase to summon my Gizmex. Um, so I draw Extravagance, <laughs> great draw, draw two, um, and then I activate my Evenly Matched, and I want to see what his response is, and, uh, I want to see what he keeps, basically. If he keeps certain things, I'm going to play different cards. Uh, but he decides to chain a Phantom Knights card on his, uh, Fossil Dynasty that's at 17, I just, I can't special that, that was a misclick, I, I apologize. I'm just going to normal the border. Uh, activate the duality. Uh, there is some thought to actually doing the duality first, uh, probably. I take Crackdown because Crackdown just is killer in these stun matchups. It just gets rid of his threats. Um, basically, he's got no chance of winning, so I take the Crackdown. Um, and it's a Crackdown. I really like this card in this deck. Uh, he draws, and let's see what he does here. I know he's got probably more monsters. Um, he sets more cards. Uh, Passes the turn to me. End phase, I crack down. I want to get these this Panker Tops out. Uh, uh, it's better than, you know, um, what's it called? It's better than Border. Border doesn't really negate anything. It's just got a big beater in this matchup. Uh, Panker Tops comes in for 26, and it's also a pop as well, which is very relevant in this matchup. Uh, still in battle phase. Put the beats down. Get my Gizmek out here. And now we've just got, you know, too much pressure on him probably. Um, and so I pass the turn. And then he draws. Um, and then he's going to normal Inspector Border. Now, I was a little worried here because I thought if that card was a Phantomite Trap card, uh, I would not have I would have trouble. So I decided to just crack down his guy. Uh, and he's, just, he's sad. So, he, you know, he, he's salty. And uh, that's the end of the video, guys. 
So uh, thanks for watching, um, and I will see you guys next time. Uh, please like, subscribe. Uh, deck's really cool. Uh, so in conclusion, uh, you know I might might play this more. If you guys want to see the the deck profile, of course, let me know, and I will bring it to you guys uh, in real life. All right, thanks.